hey, I have little, little space buns today because we are going to get deer ready Halloween style. Now I don't really do scary Halloween, I like to do cute Halloween or mysterious Halloween so we're going to go cute today and do a deer makeup that I have seen all over Pinterest and wanted to give a whirl for myself because just for a bit of practice, I'm going on a little Halloween sleepover with boots at the end of the month, which is really exciting. Where else would you buy your Halloween makeup supplies? Just makeup supplies in general, other than boots. You just wouldn't. Boots is the number one destination. So I did a bit of shopping. I'm gonna put it on my face in the style of a deer. So let's go. So first off, going in with foundation. By the way, I'll link everything I use below, but it's all available at Boots. So for my base, I'm using the Max Factor Healthy Skin Harmony Foundation. It's a really good coverage and a really, really nice base for any makeup look, but especially for a good base for a Halloween makeup look. So then with the Barry M Chisel Cheeks Contour Kit in medium to dark, this stuff is amazing. First off, I'm going in with, quite boldly as you can see, <laughs> with the warmer toned contour. So this I am just using to warm up the face and basically you, to create this deer look, you wanna contour as you usually would, but times that by like a hundred. So we're having a strong, bronzed, warm toned face and a strong contour. And this is a really good palette to do so. And then with the darker contour, we're just going to further add shadow to the hollows of our cheeks. And then with a highlighting shade from the contour kit, I am gonna go down the center of the nose, the cupid's bow, the chin, and the forehead, basically just down the center of the face and then pat under the eyes as well to brighten. And then I'm just gonna do my brows as I usually would. This is the collection Eyebrow Kit in Brunette and I love this palette. It's absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna start off by brushing through the brows with the brow gel and then going in and filling in the brows. So taking the lighter shade with a little brush, I'm just gonna go and further contour the nose and then join that with the crease of the eye just to blend that all together, add more definition to the eye and it turns out it works really, really nicely. Also taking that underneath the eye as well, same on the other side. And then going back with the highlight, I am just going to highlight underneath the brows. This is the best thing about this makeup look is that you can just use all of the same products basically. And then I'm using the highlight again to tap over the eyes just to add more eye-opening effects for our dear look. And then with the Collection Fast Stroke Eyeliner, this one is only 2 dollars so you can get Halloween ready with boots from 2 dollars which is just great. Doing my typical cat eye. And then back to the brow palette, I'm just elongating the tear duct to make me look more like an animal, is that a thing? And I'm blending that out to the crease as well. taking the same product whatever's left on the brush just to create a shadow down the cupid's bow ready for another step we'll do in a little while so using the nyx jumbo pencil in it's the black shade i am creating a little nose So now it is time for lashes. So I'm using some falsies. These are the Ilior Enchanted Lashes in Mermaids Are Cool and the Maybelline Lash Sensational. Because we want our eyes to look as big and doe eyed deer like as possible and these eyelashes do just that. They completely open up the eyes. So I just popped on some mascara on the lower lashes and just a little bit on the top just so that when I applied the falsies they blended nicely. And then of course I go in with even more of the mascara. Moving on to lipstick, this is the Barry M Lip Paint in Everything's Rosy and it's just a really nice pink lipstick. 
And then the most important part, our little white dots. So I'm going back in with the Barry M Chisel Cheeks Contour Kit and using the highlight shade with just a little random brush and applying some little dots. Now you can do them as big as you want, as little as you want, as many or as few. I just had a little play around and I love it. I think it looks great. And then back in with the collection Far Stroke Liner, doing the little line as we did the shadow underneath it earlier. And then just filling in my top lip with the black. You can of course use a black lipstick if you wish, but I just thought I'd use what I have. And I think it looks great. I'm so, so pleased with how it looks. Thank you so much for watching. Go and head down to Boots for all of your Halloween makeup needs. And I will see you in my next video. 